What's going on? It's Kev Obato and I'm back with another video. In today's video, I know you can see it on your screen already. The BUA has got a huge, huge update. But you know me, let's really not waste any more time. And let's get right into the video. As you saw on your screen in the intro, the BUA has got a huge update. It now has a graphical interface. It's got some new options, some updated add-ons, and just it's so much going on. But before we get into that, I'm gonna show the newcomers how to install the BUA. So if you've already got the BUA installed on your machine, you can skip this part of the video. The timestamps will be in the description. But if you don't have the BUA, the first thing we need to do is make sure our machines are connected to the internet. Just check, even if you think it is, just check, trust me. <laughs> All right, now that we made sure our machines are connected to the internet, we're gonna go ahead and press F1 on our keyboards to go to the file manager. Now that we're in the file manager, we can head over to the top left where it says applications. We can click on that, and then we can open this application here that says Xterm. Once you've got Xterm open and you're on a screen like this, you're gonna type the command that you see on the screen right now. It's really that simple. Once you have the command typed in like you see on the screen now, you can go ahead and press enter and it's gonna go ahead and do its thing. Once the BUA has finished installing, you can go ahead and type exit and press enter and that'll get you out of the terminal. You know you've installed it correctly when you see the fancy pantsy Bodicera unofficial icon right here. And if we close out of the file manager by going up to file and close window, the machine will do an automatic games list refresh and we can scroll over to ports. And there is the BUA. Now that we've got the BUA installed, let's go ahead and open it up. For anyone who already had the BUA, welcome back. <laughs> the anticipation is killing me. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Look at this. Look at it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is amazing. So I, I'm trying to curb my excitement and trying to calm down a little bit so I can get through the video. This is the new BUA. The old BUA is, is in the dust. We, we're living in the modern day. Oh my goodness. Very quickly, let's go ahead and get a few things out of the way. This is still the same BUA that you know and love or that you didn't know or that you hate or whatever, whatever your relationship is with the BUA. First things first, as you can see, we have a menu that we can scroll down to and we can go into the settings. And if you need to, you can go in here and you can change the controller layout, configure buttons, change the language and change the resolution. I'm not gonna mess with any of that because one of the great things about what the Notorious Fox, shout out to him, great, um, since the beginning, he's been just a legend. He's added in the option for the BUA to automatically map your controller for you, so there aren't any issues. If you look in the middle of your screen, underneath the BUA logo, you can see where it says Sony Computer Entertainment Wireless Controllers. So that's my PS4 controller there. It automatically connects and detects your controller and you can look at the hints on the screen so that you know what buttons to press. Like it says, I can click the select button to open the settings and you see that's there. I can click the O button to go back and it goes back. So it's really intuitive. Very quickly, I will show you, might as well, if I unplug, it automatically picked up my keyboard. So just like with the PlayStation 4 controller, it shows me hints and gives me instructions on what I need to hit. So as you can see, I've got enter to open. This is really intuitive. Enter to go forward. You can click escape to go back. You've got alt GR for settings. Alt GR is just, I believe it's just right control. No, is it left control? Oh, I lied. Okay. <laughs> it's right alt, right alt. So alt GR is for us Americans is just right alt. And then it gets you in the settings, but I'm so excited to have this and you saw it hot swap right to my keyboard. Now I'll plug in the PS4 controller again, and boom, as you can see, Sony PS4 controller. I'm tired of sitting here looking at the main menu. Let's go in and install some stuff. So if you have any questions or get confused about how to use this, just check the hints at the top. So let's go into games here, and then let's install Celeste 64. 
So as you can see, I can click X to toggle, triangle to add all. I can click X to toggle a game. I can click start to start it. I can click select to go to the settings and then click triangle to add all, which I'm not gonna do. <laughs> so we can toggle a few. Let's toggle that and we will get this and we will get this. All right, we've got three games here. Now that we have those all selected, I can press start on my controller and I can click start one more time and I can click start one more time. Now, before I do that, I can either scroll down to go to start install or I can just click start on my controller, but this gives you the option to remove any. So if I decide that I didn't want this, I can remove that by pressing X. Again, if you have any questions or ever get confused, you've got hints at the top of the screen to tell you what button does what. Even if you switch controllers, it'll switch and tell you the button to use for that controller. So as you saw, I deleted one of those games. I'll go ahead and click start and it'll start installing them. I love how fancy that this interface is. It's super sleek. Oh, very quickly, we can click square to open up the logs. And again, if you're using a different controller, it'll tell you which button to click. But on the PS4 and PS5, you click square, it'll open up the logs. So if you feel like you've been sitting on this screen for too long, you click square or maybe X on your controller if you're using Xbox, and it'll open up the log. And as you can see here, it's still just downloading normally. Almost done, in fact. Just another sweet add-on that he's added. And everything is just so smooth now. I can't believe this is where we're at with the unofficial add-ons for Botticera. It's done now, so we'll go out of that. The queue is empty. We can go back, back, back. We can go down to exit. And it'll close out of the BUA. And as you can see, it did a games list refresh for us. And we have our two games here. And just so you don't think I am BSing you, I'll open one to show you it's working. Boom. And as you can see, that loaded up. First try. I'm going to back out of this now. And we're going to go back into the BUA. And it may take a second to load. But once you get to this loading animation screen, then you know you've made it. And boom, now that we're back into the BUA, you can see in the game section, it gives an updated counter. So it shows that I've got two out of 21 of the add-ons in this section downloaded. And as you can see in the rest, I still have zero. Let's go in and download some other stuff just for shits and giggles. We'll go in and download some other stuff. This is a fresh machine, so there's really nothing on here. But we can go in and we can, really, we can add anything we want. Let me go back. I want to add Firefox. Firefox is a must have. We will select the add on, then I'll click start. Then I'll click start again, and I'll click start one more time. I don't know how I feel about that, but it, it, it's so nice. I don't care. I'll click start 10 times if I have to. <laughs> I'm just finding something to complain about, you know? Holy cow, did it really install that fast? This is another great thing about being able to just pull up the logs. Not that you couldn't see what was going on before, but before when you would install something in the BUA, whether it failed or installed correctly, the terminal screen would close out and take you back, you know, take you back to the category that you were in. Now, even though Firefox is done installing, I can freely open and close this log and check and see what happened. So if this failed, I would be able to know why and I'd be able to see it. That's just another really sweet add on that the Notorious Fox has added for us. Now, let's go in and look at a few more things. We've got the updater here. I don't have any add-ons that need to be updated. As you can see, everything says up to date, but if you did have an add-on that needed to be updated, you do it here. Now that we're in this updater, if you stuck along and you're watching this far, this has been a highly anticipated, and I, I understand that it's probably something that <laughs> we should have advocated for sooner, but everyone asks, how do you delete an add-on? And it's always a different answer depending on the add-on, depending on the you know user situation, yada, yada, yada. But thanks to the Notorious Fox, this is probably the third or fourth time I'm saying that in today's video. We now have an option to uninstall add-ons. So as you can see, I opened up that Celeste game. You saw it running. We're going to click triangle and it's going to uninstall it and it's poof, gone. Now we're going to back out of here Exit the BUA again, just to show you that that game is gone. As you can see on the screen, it's gone. I've got Firefox here 
and Celeste is gone. So now, oh buddy, this is gonna make uninstalling troublesome add-ons, add-ons you couldn't get working, or just, you know, stuff you, you decide, hey, I don't want this anymore, you know? So this, the updater and the uninstaller and the GUI, all right, that's gonna wrap up today's video. If you like what you saw, give the video a like. If you really like what you saw, subscribe, come on. Shout out to the Notorious Fox. I will leave the link to the BUA Discord in the video description. So you can go over there and join and you can get help troubleshooting any of your issues. You can offer suggestions and you can show your appreciation to the Notorious Fox. All right, all right. I'll catch you in the next video. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's a new thing I'm doing in all my videos. I want to shout out all of my YouTube members. So, shout out to Steve, good old Steve. Shout out to IJ, shout out to Foosh, and shout out to Ludwig. I appreciate you all so much. If you are ever hearing this in my videos, just know that I really appreciate you. And if you're not a member, this is not a call for you to become a member. The people that are members do it on their own free will. I'm not asking you for anything, but I do appreciate anyone who does it, you know, on their own volition. <laughs> Anyways, I'm leaving now. Go, go ahead. Get out of here. Get your, get your ass out of here. <laughs>